Welcome to America's heartland, Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Indiana Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium will be jumping in anticipation of what we've got in store today. Today, a Big Ten clash, and you know when you square off against a conference opponent, the blood boils a little hotter. As we'll see, the Nebraska Cornhuskers taking on the Indiana Hoosiers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Hoosiers will kick it away first. And he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Nebraska's offense will start this game off. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games in big moments, and he's delivered for his football team. It never seems like a situation is just too big for him. This obviously is a huge game. I cannot wait to see this guy compete. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. To the ground with the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Third down, and they'll need five to keep this opening drive moving. Trying play action. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback goes knocked down back at the 13. When it's a play action pass, that quarterback he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. The Cornhuskers will send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. So the Indiana Hoosiers offense will have its first possession of the game. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be Throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much they'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Looking to throw, it's Roark. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Hoosiers decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And no shot at a return here as the punt goes out of bounds. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. They'll try to hit the sideline on the jet sweep. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It's so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going, and getting the speedster on the ground. Offense gets set for second down. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the stick. 
Man, that quarterback can go. Just another guy in another system all across college football. All quarterbacks nowadays, they get so much speed, it's ridiculous. Man, I'm telling you, that has to be exhausting for the defensive lineman trying to chase down guys like that. It's silly because even when it's a design play and it's a design run like here, fine. But then it's scramble plays and then it's passing plays. He's always a runner, just exhausting. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. The Huskers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Price. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. First and ten. He'll come out throwing on first down. Makes the catch. It's McCulley. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. When we talk to coaches, David, a lot of times we zone out when they say we got to get the ball in the hands of playmakers. Except when they get the ball in the hands of playmakers. And, Reese, I think that's smart, right? Like, get your best players the football and get them to them fast. Let them do the rest of the work. You can see, he gets the football, he can make somebody miss, make those big plays. You've got to highlight those playmakers. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. A third and long coming up here. Back to pass, it's Rourke. He finds his man. And they reacted well with the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And the Hoosiers look to keep this drive humming. They're going back to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. Little touch pass to the receiver. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Really nice third down okay. sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre snap to post snap to confuse the quarterback. And now forcing the incompletion setting up for Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52 yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. They'll try the run. 
Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. He's down at the 31. Brings up second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's Banks. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And I love the fundamentals by the quarterback on that last completion. That's four verticals. And if you're going to complete that ball down the seam, you've got to be able to freeze the safety in the middle of the field and not telegraph the throw. That's exactly what the QB did. Nice job. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Power football with the run. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Fast motion from the offense. Might as well stick with him. Is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. And the Huskers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's looking to throw it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Well, we're only in the first quarter, but already this defense is making their presence felt. We've seen time and time again their ability to rush the passer and get hits on this QB. His toughness is going to get tested. Second and ten after the previous play. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. I had a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver of the middle of the field. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. They go to the ground. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll go to the ground. And into the end zone. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Corn Huskers! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. He leaves it with his back. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard game. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Right back to him on the ground. 
And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped a really big play. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. And more yards after contact. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield, pick up 10 and the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed it. The Hoosiers are moving quickly down the field. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Quarterback on the keeper. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. They're facing a third down. To throw, it's Rourke. Using the quick game. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And that wasn't easy. Pitch route on third down with tight coverage. The receiver doing a great job shielding the defender away from him, catching it, and getting the first. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He wants to throw. Released to the back. Grabbed in the middle. It's Ellison. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. Got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. And the Hoosiers will try to punch it in on first and goal. They want to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. Looking to throw it again. He's got it. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Hey, I'll tell you what, that slot receiver, he may not be the biggest receiver in the world, but he is shifty, and he runs really good routes. You saw it on that play. They've moved it right to the edge, and they need one more yard for the touchdown on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And he's got it! Touchdown, Hoosiers! And third and goal, I've given it to my playmaker. You let your quarterback make this decision whether he wants to run it in or right here. He sees the opportunity. His guy's wide open. Hits him in stride for the easy touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. 
And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. They put together an 81-yard drive. And it was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really... And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. And he's running in the open. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, Huskers! He shed tackles like a snake getting rid of his skin. Number seven. Well, we see the home run on offense, but defensively, we've got to do a better job tackling. You've got to get hats to the football, and then you've got to bring the ball carrier down. Poor fundamentals, poor tackling helped lead to that long touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on the last one. So on this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action, it sets up the RPO game, and then you keep this defense guessing. Now on first down from the 28. Movement here from the tight end. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Threw his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time it's second down. Come on, receiver. You can make that play. You do it all the time in practice. Don't come out here on game day and start getting big eyes under the big lights. You got to make that catch. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Roar. Fires to the middle. It's complete. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. The Hoosiers have it with a first and ten. Motion, trying to get the defense to show his hand. Finds his man. It's McCulley. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. All the way down at the 33-yard line. It's first and 10. Catch in the middle. It's McCulley. And a nice grab with a defender right on him, and he's down at the 20. That's a really good example of why offensive coordinators script plays. You know the down and distance, and you know which routes can get you to the stick. So there's no wasted time. That coordinator got the play in early to his quarterback, knowing that his players were going to be able to execute. Trying to run. It's Ellison. Dropped after a pickup of four down to the 16. Up. 
Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Right back to it. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three. Balls at the 14. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. He caught it. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone. They're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch them off guard, and now they've got first and goal. And the Hoosiers line it up with a first and goal. On the move, it's Rourke. Makes the grab. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. Trying to barge in. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and if you go big, I'm going big. I'm going to bring an extra defensive lineman. I'm going to bring in my big physical linebackers. I'm expecting run. This is what they've done. This is what you do on this part of the field. So I'm going to play aggressive on defense. They weren't able to move them an inch on second down. Now it's third and goal. Slams it ahead. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offense coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great job coming out. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. The give out of the gun. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage. And they're running downhill right at this defense. And they're churning out positive yardage early. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Looking downfield, it's Rayola. Finds his tight end. Quick step and go. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. The Cornhuskers will snap it on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Fado. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. 
Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Really need positive yards on second down after the incompletion. They'll snap it from the 44. Now they'll run the draw. He stopped again. They went right back to him, and he still found no running room at all. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and defense filling. They just can't do it better. Now facing a third and long. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Huskers will call on their punt team. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Grabbed in the backfield. It's McCulley. Still on his feet at the 45. He'll work his way down to the 28. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. What a dynamic play on that last one. Flips the field, and they've got it first and 10 from the 28. He's right on target. And that will go backwards. A negative play, and that defense on high alert that time. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's Rourke. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. The aerial assault continues. Caught on the outside, it's Cross. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Makes the catch. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Looking to throw for it. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Already one for one on field goals today. He'll try to make it two for two from 22. Splits the uprights right down the middle.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Looking to throw, it's Rayola. Finds his big tight end. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. Going to take a shot. Makes the catch down the right side. Touchdown, Nebraska! A great catch and run for six. And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under it and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them on top by one. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point in the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Trying to find his man on first down. Got his man to the left. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Well, this offense has come out slinging the pill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. The Hoosiers with the first and 10. Back to throw. It's Rourke. Fires it incomplete. Well, no doubt that's where the quarterback wanted to go with the ball from jump. A better job by the defense forcing the incompletion. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, it goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Man, that's one you expect him to make in his sleep, right? He's one of the better receivers in the entire country. He just dropped that one over the middle of the field. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback and they get him at the 46. Six yards on the play. Coming up, fourth down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. They get to him as he throws. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. Going up top on first down. He'll take a shot. He can't haul it in. In 
incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, fellas. Looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there in Bloomington. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Quick completion on the out route. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. Here comes the offense on second down. They run the reverse. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. What great discipline showed by the defense. When your job's contained, you're supposed to contain the football. Not let your eyes deceive you. Ball starts to go away. Your job is to still contain the backside. Great job staying disciplined. Great win for the defense. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Dropping back, it's Roar. Gets it out quickly. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He's going to pass. Got him downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside, probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Comes out throwing on first down. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They keep attacking through the air. Getting some heat. Another incompletion on third down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. And the Hoosiers will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. give to the running back gets it past the marker what a good run there he has enough for the first down 
And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. I think he run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Third and short, I have no problem with RPO because I can run it or I can throw it if I see something opening. Maybe he should have ran that one. You got two downs possibly to still try to make it happen, but he definitely didn't throw an accurate ball. And the Huskers send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He'll bring it back. It's Price. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive, okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Throws to the wideout. And he dropped it, just didn't put the thing all the way in. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. To the air, it's Roar. Fires to the wide out. Soft spot in the middle. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. They're going to sit back in zone. I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. The Hoosiers come to the line with a new set of downs. Got his man downfield. Off he goes. And finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. As a defense, you always have to be aware of this guy. You know, having watched film, he's got the speed to get behind your safeties, and they let him get behind him there. That was a big play offensively. The defense, they've got to change up their coverage. This quarterback has been really good today. Has been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. They use those back-to-back -back explosives to set them up first and goal. Power ahead. Touchdown, Indiana! They take the lead with the six. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. comes the two-point try. To the air. It's Roar. They're trying to get to him. 
Looking, trying to escape, cannot. The sack forks the two-point try. Indiana, 26. Nebraska, 21. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. From the gun, running back on the move. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Here's the handoff. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. already sent your punter out four times at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert they'll try to drive ahead on third and short he gets it oh so close to the first down marker but I think he's going to be a touch short Cornhuskers will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Out of the shoot. Quick toss to the right. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Line getting set on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And how about that interior defense stopping the run for nothing? Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. Makes the catch. It's McCulley. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. Caught in the backfield, it's Cross. Brings him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a first down for this offense. And Jesse just keeps piling up numbers over 350 yards for the game. And I feel like from the get-go, Reese, this guy's just been in a great rhythm all game long. He just seems like he's dialed in, and, man, he's been accurate throwing the rock. Pocket throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Hoosiers! Man, oh man, it doesn't get easier than that. Look at the receiver. He gets wide open. Where's the defense? Nobody around. Easy pitch, easy catch. automatic 
And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring cross from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. The give to the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Running back goes in motion. Wants to throw. It's Rayola. Unloads to the right. He's got an open man. Hit the afterburners, kid. The 10. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. That was a lightning fast drive. It ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. They'll go to the air. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. It's now second and goal to go. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll try to blast their way in. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Huskers! Number seven. Well, this offense has been physical. They came out in this game with a lot of pride and the ability up front and the belief that they can block people and get it done. They are dominating this defense. Three rushing touchdowns now in the game. Try the point after. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. They'll start this drive with a pass. Caught over the middle. It's Horton. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find the rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game, now on second down. He'll do it himself. A pickup of five marks it at the 36-yard line. How nice is it to have a guy that can say, I'm just going to go get the first down. Like, I know I have options. I can do X, Y, and Z, but I'm just going to let me run it, go get the first down, and give myself an extra set of downs. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Back to pass. It's Rourke. 
unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. That last catch puts him over 150 yards receiving on the day. Reese, this defense has no answer for this guy. It doesn't matter where he's lined up or what routes he's run or who's been covering him. They just can't stop him. Wants to throw on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. This offense has a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. I love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. And the Hoosiers will bring the punt team onto the field. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. The run to the right. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And that will be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Second down coming up. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. The give to the back. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. Leaves it with the running back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Trying to pick it up on the ground. The Huskers are stopped, but not before getting the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. And the Huskers are rolling down the field. The give to the tailback. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. 
And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. That is an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding the window between the zones and delivering that ball on time. The Cornhuskers will snap it on first and ten. They'll give it to the back. He's like a pinball with attitude out there, hammering ahead to the 30. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting him drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Banks. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Holes and throws off the RPO. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. A first down run on the doorstep. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Well, he's had the hot hand, three TDs in the game already. I like just four-speeding this guy the rocks some more here, Paul. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They've been the more physical team. He does a really good job finding the end zone, running the football. That's why they've featured him today. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska! They've got the lead here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. one they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge looking to pass it's Rayola he's got it for the two-point conversion they put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two just about set to kick it away He'll bring it back looking for help. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. Looking for a gap. It's Ellison. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Coming after him. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hauls it in and looking upfield. 
He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. Back to throw. It's Rayola. He's got it down the middle. That completion leaves us with second and media. The back goes in motion. He's looking for a man on second down. Floats it out in space. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. Indiana has the ball back and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They'll get him on the ground at the 46 and it'll be a first down. And you've created some great momentum. Getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in the groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. Just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. That's the way to start a drive, and now they'll try to follow up on first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. On the run, it's Roar. Gets it out fast. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point of the game against the defense, playing big zones, prevent trying to keep the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance Number to stay alive and win this game? The Hoosiers will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. They'll throw it on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Fidel. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? On first down from their own 22. And tackled there by the defense. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. Smart move to keep it on the ground. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Really nice job by the defense getting that last stop. All third downs in games are important, but this one just feels like it's the biggest down of this game right now for this defense. If they can get off the field, they've got to give it back to their offense with as much time as possible to have a chance to win this game. Back to throw, it's Rayola. Looking to the big tight end. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that and here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead. Guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. And the Huskers are flying down the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. No doubt the offense at this point of the game with the lead late. They're going to try and run the football, and they're going to try and bleed the clock. They need all ball carriers to stay in bounds to keep this clock ticking, just like that guy did there. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll keep it on the ground. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. To the ground to try to move the chains. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Cornhuskers have it with a first and 10. From the gun. Give on the inside. Tackle is made at the 27. Let's give him 10 yards on the play, and it is enough for a first down. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through 